this plant that you're about to see will change your opinion of plants forever. Three, two, one. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Learn Your Plant. I'm Green Tips, and today we're going to be going over the Philodendron Brazil. If you watched last week's video, it's uh, right there. You actually got a sneak peek of the plant and when I was unboxing it. So yeah, and now I'm going to make a whole Learn Your Plant episode on it. So yep. It's also, um, excuse my uh, Snoopy Santa Claus shirt. Um, it's for Christmas, but um, it's May, and I'm wearing it. But my choice, so I'm gonna wear it, so don't judge. Hit it! So I'm gonna go ahead and skip the nickname for the film Legend Brazil, because there's not really a specific nickname, and I can't really invent a nickname. I mean, I would probably call it the little climber, but um, that could apply for anything. So yeah, let's just go ahead and skip it. So the Philodendron Brazil is part of the RAC family, which of course contains more than 3,000 different plant species. Wow! The Philodendron Brazil originates from Australia, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So the special patterns on this is that the leaves they're yellow and green, which is pretty cool. They really stand out well. Um, it, it's a vining plant, so it vines up. The the Philodendron Brazil can grow up to be three feet tall, but its width can be almost double. Wait a minute! It's time for them caring. Hit it! So the Philodendron Brazil can thrive in low to medium light, but it can tolerate bright indirect sunlight. So I keep mine in medium light, but it's really up to you guys. It can tolerate either one. So it's up to you. So this plant actually needs loose, well-drained soil that is high in organic matter because that's what it needs. Before you water the filament in Brazil, you're going to want to make sure the soil is dry before you water it. Because if you don't follow those rules, then you'll be overwatering or you'll be underwatering, which are both bad. So yeah. So this philodendron needs to be a daytime temperature of 60 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So your basic household humidity is fine for the philodendron, but higher humidity makes bigger leaves for the philodendron. So if you want bigger leaves, you can go ahead and give it more humidity. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Whatever, it's up to you. It's fine. But in general, guys, I really like this philodendron. I mean, I kind of almost like it better than the begonia because the begonia, I mean... It isn't the best plant to have, but it's still pretty cool. I like them both. Don't get me wrong. So anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button over there. Don't actually hit it. And um, also subscribe to my channel. It's right there. If you haven't already, if you have, then you're awesome. Also, go check out my channel if you like plants like me. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out right now. Because it's pretty dope. Awesome content. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all later. Peace. Hello everybody. Welcome back. So, so, so also, you, if you watched last week's video. So, so the Phil Avenger Brazil is part of the RAC family. The Phil Avenger Brazil originates. So the Phil Avenger Brazil 
can so the filament in Brazil can thrive in low to medium light. But so, um this so this plant actually needs well drained. So before you water the filament in Brazil, you're gonna wait on because if you don't then that's also I was able to temp temperature of sixty to ninety degrees Fahrenheit. It's better than just hanging it because then you're putting more energy into it. Yeah, that's nice. Also, 